our bread. Salt and pepper, butter, eggs, and cheese. But the cheese is optional. The first thing we need to do is to prepare the bread. You need to have cups that are smaller than the piece of bread you're using. You can also use cookie cutters. When you cut it, you want to hold the bread still and twist the cup or cookie cutter, flip it over, and do the same thing again. One might turn out like this. You might have to use smaller cookie cutters for different sizes of bread. the edge broke, so we're going to need to do it again. Now it's time to prepare the eggs. If you want fried eggs, then just leave the egg plain. We'll deal with that later. If you want scrambled eggs, get a cup and scramble them. Put salt and pepper in now, but I choose to do it when they're in the bread. We need to start cooking. Turn on your pan, and when it's heated up, put a little bit of butter on it. Now you need to put the butter on. Get the butter everywhere where you're going to put bread. And maybe some more places in case you have to scramble some eggs. seal by pouring a tiny bit of eggs in and letting them cook for us a little while. Then fill it in. You might have extra. Don't worry. You can just make regular eggs on the side. I just cut it off and cook it on the side. Then put the stuff that you cut out from the middle on the side. Now we need to check the bottom. If it looks like regular eggs, you can get as much of the bread you, as you can under spatula and then flip quickly. Some egg may come out the side. Just cut that off and put it to the side. This is starting to look delicious. Don't forget to, to flip your little toes. If you, see, if you think that it needs a little more. Now it's done. Don't forget to have a fruit in your delicious breakfast. Now we're making fry. Fry is almost the same except for if you crack the egg right into the bread. Get it all the way under and flip. Don't forget to flip your toast. Jeez. If 
you want to put cheese on, now is the time. Put the cheese on, and then put the toast on. Be careful. Now it's done! These are going to be breakfasts that everyone can remember. Here's my basket from Kate's Cooking Show. I hope you like them. Good!